Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. For you, for this video, we have our June Zany Lainey collection and scents and things available this month. And lots of other fun. Just a reminder to subscribe down below and hit that bell twice in order to always be notified that we have a video coming up. Uh, we are trying to do other videos right now. Um, we're still kind of in a big turmoil, like even more than I thought was going to be. Um, we are trying to get into more of a flow, get to reviewing some more subscription boxes for you. I wouldn't say turmoil, more tumult. Uh, make sure you are joining our Facebook group because um, like right now, for example, we're having a clearance sale on a lot of our overstock items and that's going on until Wednesday night. Um, however, it is first come first serve. So quantities are limited. If you're interested, I'm going to put the link below, but you need to go like now and check it out because it's deeply discounted. Uh, make sure you don't miss it. A lot of the things from our past library. Plus on top of that, we're always doing sneak peeks and games and prizes and parties. We do we, create a sense, which basically basically means you can create a scent you create a scent um, and then you work with me for a little bit we are putting that on hold because we plan on taking December off and that's kind of where we are right now because it takes so long mm -hmm. to to do a create a scent we are that many months ahead um, so we're taking December off so our next create a scent will be offered next month for January so that's another good reason for you to get in mm -hmm into the group. The other, I think the last thing before we head into this is we are looking for uh, reps, influencers, people to be a part of our team. And it's very, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. Like you're not just going to be like, I get my product and I post and we're actually very much of a, like an involved. And I don't mean that it's involved for you, but we have teamwork and competitions mm -hmm. and we try to see who makes the most money and who posts the most times and things like that. It's actually really fun. Um, so if you are interested, in doing uh, being a rep for me for July and August uh, there is at least one more week while we have applications open and we have a couple spots available I will leave that link down below if you are interested in applying to be a rep uh, we do have a couple perm spots available which means you get free product you get three free mm. items plus you get a 35% discount on anything else um, or you can be a regular reviewer, which means you get a 20% discount on everything and you're part of our team and it, you don't have as much of a requirement as far as posting as the perms do. But, um, yeah, so please. We don't really just treat out. reps and reviewers just like, um, you know, freelancers that we just mm -hmm. hand you work to do. Right. You're part of a group. Right. You are a part of a community and we're all talking a lot. A lot. Uh, we also do support each other so uh you know if you post something i'll probably share it on my stuff mm -hmm. other people might share it on their stuff so you know that actually gets your exposure out as well so if you're interested in that uh hit that link down below mm -hmm. like now <laughs> all right we're going to talk about june's products um we have four scents for the june collection we have a surprise scent we have a create a scent and then we've got some wax and something else <laughs> we're gonna talk about so as well. So before we actually get into the scents, should we tell them one big change? We will, yeah, that's a good idea. So we finally are out with our new formulation of wax and this is what it looks like. It is uh, an indigo blue <laughs> kind of color. We were really trying for a purple, but we just could not get that color that we wanted and it made us sad but that's okay because it is kind of a really cool indigo blue color mm -hmm. it is a parasoy blend now instead of it being straight soy and we're hoping that that keeps the scent a lot better and also we won't have as much issues with melting like the minute it gets yeah. out there to the mailbox um which we have had issues for um I think that so far from what I've been able to, to smell I can actually smell it a lot better yeah. Yeah? I think so. Okay. So all of our wax this month will be in that new formula starting now. We're doing it now. Um, so let's talk about the collection theme. What do you got for us? We have Sing Your Heart Out. This is a collection based off of various musicals, both on stage and off stage. Yes. So there are some that are uh, movies and movie musicals. Movies? Yes. Broadway and movie musicals. There are some that are just Broadway. There is one that is web. It's an <laughs> a internet web musical. musical. Yeah. Um, so we have all of those for you. We've got four cents. So 
Let's start with the one that I'm actually wearing the t-shirt of, and it is... Look around, look around. It's Hamilton. Yes, it is. So we have this set based on uh, Hamilton, available in spray, scrub, and wax this month. The set notes are bergamot, tarragon, and earl grey tea. And what I have to tell you, this is really funny. So we had been planning this scent for about seven months since last year, we've been planning this particular scent. Forethought is not a problem for us. No, we plan very far ahead. Um, then <laughs> I was laughing my head off because my friend Meg from Pretty For Your Face came out with um, this bergamot and tea scent for her Hamilton collection. And I was like, <laughs> this is amazing. So I messaged her and I was like, uh, so we have a Hamilton scent coming out and it's a scent too. And she was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. So I'm just going to tell you, her scent also comes in, I believe, like a bath powder fizzy as well, which I actually have in my bathroom. But it's the same scent, pretty much. So if you like what you smell on hers, you should try this. But if you also have not tried that, but you've tried this, vice versa. They work together. They're 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 twins. <laughs> exactly. So again, let's let's just for those of you who don't know, talk about our our product. Uh, we've already talked about our wax being a blend. The sugar scrub is a uh, body scrub, which is formulated of white and brown sugar, as far, and also some o essential oils like coconut and apricot that really get down and moisturize. Marshall and I both have eczema. We use this in the shower and it really helps keep it at bay. It doesn't totally clear it up all the time, but it does a pretty good job. And most of the time what I do is I have one sitting by my sink and anytime my hand starts to itch from eczema, I just go on over and I scrub it. Mm -hmm. And that takes care of it for most, if not all of the day. Exactly. And then the spray itself is basically just the fragrance oil with some witch hazel and some water. Really simple uh ingredients for you but the witch hazel really makes it so that it can not only carries it the the scent fragrance but also it's just a really amazing like i don't know it just carries a smell there's, well there's you can spray it on of, everything there's a lot of health benefits actually for witch hazel there on is. a topical formula um i grabbed one of the the little eye thing that you gave me for uh baggy eyes that was it was mm. from pixie i think it was um I popped that open after it was empty and I filled it with witch hazel and it does the job just Oh, you the mean same. from Elf? Yeah. Yeah, from Elf. <laughs> like, Pixie, like Elf, they're, 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 they're fake creatures. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then on all of our, going forward, all of our labels pretty much have the cosplayables, which is cosplay labels, cosplayables, um, and in this one he is dressed like... Like Hamilton. Yes. So talk a little bit about your design process. And um, so when we were doing a lot of this, um, we're, we're operating from many of the same pieces just kind of rearranged and then we put them in the costume custom built. Mm -hmm. So in, in this case, um, all I did really was just turn his hand around and put a mic in it and then I added the clothes. Uh, oh, I turned his head up so he's singing. Mm-hmm. Initially, we actually had his mouth open, but yeah. he never looks right with his mouth No, open. and then if you look in our sneak peek in our group, there is one where he has dropped the mic, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty cute. But yeah, so that that is the Hamilton one that you're going to see right there. And uh, I love I love Hershey is. Hershey is Hamilton. Hersheyton. So as far as the smell. I actually really like the smell. Um, normally, I'm not for the earthy ones, but this one, it's... I think the tea actually takes the, the tarragon's uh, harshness down a bit. What's really funny, too, is that the Earl Grey tea blend actually does also contain bergamot. So it goes well really nicely with the bergamot and tarragon because it already has that scent note that crosses mm -hmm. over. And I think that's probably what I smell the most of is the bergamot with the tea. Mm -hmm. But it smells really good. I really like it. Yeah. Our next scent is called My Letter. And uh, this one is based off of Dear Evan Hansen, which unfortunately we haven't actually seen yet. I have not, but I have listened to the music many, many times. Hashtag you will be found. If you know what that is all about, comment down below. Um, but it did come here to Orlando like a couple weeks ago, and I tried so hard to get lottery tickets for it, just like I did for Hamilton. Um, but I could not, and it made me sad. So um, we, we did decide this is kind of a hot hot Broadway thing happening right now, so we decided to do a Dear Evan Hansen scent. It is Fresh Air, Heliotrope, and Pineapples. It is kind of like, 
I don't know, the pineapples make it earthy, the fresh air, mm. and the heliotrope is like a flower, but it's not that, not that much, not that much yeah. of a flower, but I think the pineapple and the air together is really, it's just such a fresh scent. This, this makes it a fresh scent, but it's also a very gentle scent. Mm -hmm. When we've been going to a lot of conventions we've been going to, we've been hearing a lot of people being like, whoa, that is intense. Mm -hmm. um, when they got, especially with the, the new formulations of waxes. Um, and by having it uh, a little bit more gentle, sometimes I think more people might enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see in this how it's white and brown. So the white is really the oils that have uh, become a little bit more solid. So what we suggest is, and this is actually a good thing because uh, it means it's not going to leak all over the place if it's solid. So what we suggest is when you use it, stick it on its side maybe just to kind of make it go like this so that the oil is actually like on the side and not on the top. If you store it like this, then the oil will be on top. Yeah. But if you store it like this, then the oil is only halfway there. And then that way you can scoop in and get a nice mixture of the sugar and the oil together. Um, so let's talk about the design on this one. So this is our first premiere of a new character named Zane. Um, and Zane is a uh, very much like you have Jelly and Ravenna, magical girls, they could use their powers to change into different outfits. He's a magical boy, I guess you could say. So he's got the same ability to switch his outfits up as much as he likes. Um, if you look really closely on his cast, it does say hashtag you will be found. And he is holding on to uh, Evan's letter as well as dressed up as Evan. Mm -hmm. So I, I, this was kind of fun. I didn't really know everything of what I was doing, but I'm like, I'll, I'll just do lots and lots of pictures and see what I can figure out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, it being a play, obviously everything is the guy in the cast. So we were like, let's just do that. <laughs> yeah. It works. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully we're going to have Zane in a few more things. Um, we're going to see. Maybe we might have more characters for you. I don't know. Maybe. If you're nice. Our next scent is called Perfectly Swell, and it is based on Thoroughly Modern Millie, which is a musical that Marshall and I watched all the time when we were growing up. And then it got a, a Broadway revival from that. So the reason why we love this is because Julie Andrews is like my soulmate when it comes to musicals, like, you know, Mary <laughs> Poppins, Victor Victoria. I love Princess Diaries. It's not a musical, but I love, I love Julie Andrews. So she likes her diction. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, so this movie, if you guys haven't seen it, it there is a cheese factor to it, yeah. but it's done in the 1920s, right when, you know, the, the whole feminism era started coming in, where they talk about girls that are cutting their hair and wearing beads and, like, raising their skirts. And, and if you don't know what we're talking about... Literally, just look up the movie because that is the opening song. Yes, the first They will song. explain it all to you. Just pay attention. <laughs> so in this one, um, there are quite a few things that happen um, in this movie that have been depicted in this art. But we called it Perfectly Swell because um, there are two characters. They're actually side characters, but they're very, like, dramatic characters. And one of them yeah. is a rich girl. And the other one is like this banker guy and they kind of fall in love and she always says perfect and he says swell just swell so we called mm -hmm. it perfectly swell we yeah. had thought about calling it raspberries which is what star um, what's her name Carol Channing is in this too and yeah. she says raspberries all the time so instead of calling it that we decided to put it in so it's raspberries vanilla pudding and bananas which actually there's also a song called the tapioca that they yeah. dance to we could not get a tapioca scent tapioca doesn't really smell so we made one so <laughs> we decided to put bananas and vanilla pudding together to kind of make a tapioca scent um if you guys are any have you ever seen this musical you will get all of the little easter eggs Mm -hmm. that are in every part of this. So what we did for the art here, we had Colada, and she is dressed up in Millie's flapper dress that she gets at the very beginning of the movie. And it actually plays a really large role in the ending. Um, it's, it's this very wow, look at me flapper dress. Um, and you also see in here um, these beads that she's wearing. And uh, this was kind of a, a thing for them in that era that they would wear these huge long beads that would be dancing along with them when they were doing the dances. And the problem was that Millie is too busty and so they won't hang straight. 
The whole thing, it's it's hysterical. There, and I totally understand. But there's this whole thing about how the beads go like here and here and here and here. But where she watches all these other girls that are completely flat chested with their beads that are just, just like straight, straight down. So she's very sad about that. And then she goes to get a bra to kind of fix that and flatten it out, and that doesn't go well either. No, it's or, quite a funny. It's a it's funny, very funny story, honestly. Like. Um, there is a like kind of a racist part in it, in my opinion, because um, there are some people that portray Asians that are not Asian. Yeah. So no, I, I, I yes. So anyway, yeah. So this is like I said, raspberries, vanilla pudding, and bananas. This is really good. This is like my kind of scent for sure. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm. This is very tasty. You can smell bananas, and you can smell pudding, and you can smell raspberries. Uh, if you don't like banana, this is probably not for you. No. It's a good earthy, fruity scent. All right, the last scent in the collection is called The Weird Stuff. This is from Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. Um, so if you haven't heard of that, how are you on the internet right now? You know, it is a little bit older, so who knows, but if you want to watch it, actually it's really funny. Like I tried to look it up to watch it. I think you can watch it on YouTube or Vimeo one of those for free. If not, you're going to have to like pay 20 bucks to watch it, which is really interesting because they originally showed it on Hulu and their website. They put it up and immediately it crashed. Like Corey and I were waiting for it. We saw it the first time it came out. And if you have not seen this, uh, so let's talk about the star studded cast. Let's, let's, let's do. Uh, so Dr. Horrible is played by Neil Patrick Harris, uh, who was in How I Met Your Mother. Um, the male, other male, Captain Hammer, is played by Nathan Fillion, which you might know from Castle and or Firefly. Firefly. Um, the girl is played by... Felicia Day. Thank you. I don't know why I blinked on her name. I've actually met her in person at, at Comic-Con, and she is sweet and lovely. And so she's Felicia Day. And then if you watch it, there are actually many, many people in this thing that are part of the Josh Whedon-verse. Because he wrote it. And the music. So if you liked that Buffy episode where they were all singing, mm -hmm. it's a movie of that. Now let's no, talk about the either. fact that the reason why he even wrote it in the first place was because of the writer's strike in Hollywood. So they were all kind of like trying to figure out what are they going to do. Like because of this writer's strike, a lot of people decided to put their content online. This really started the basis of online content as we know it. It used to be that Hulu would just show like here are things that were on TV last night. Now Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, these are all things that came about from this Hollywood writer strike and Dr. Horrible was one of the starting things from that. That's why this is kind of historically a very important piece. In a way. So, um, for Dr. Horrible, it is roses, aloe vera, and cucumber. It is a very fresh scent. It probably smells like a freeze way. Freeze ray? Freeze ray. Yes. Freeze ray. Um, and if you haven't seen it, you won't know what we're talking about. But a freeze ray is what he's trying to And invent. it's it's not an ice beam. That's that's somebody else. No. It's something that will literally freeze somebody and they can't move. And I don't think that they have any concept of time passing yeah, either. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, How's so the art on this one? Here we have Jelly, and she's kind of doing a cross-play as Dr. Horrible. So she's wearing a guy's outfit. but um, So she's got Dr. Horrible's outfit, and then behind her we have Spark Chaser making a reappearance after a very long time. And he is dressed up as Bad Horse. He's bad. Bad horse. Bad horse. I don't know the rest of the song. Bad horse. He's bad. bad. Horse. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. Um, I used to actually have a Captain Hammer t-shirt. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I really don't, but... Gosh, I, they were having, when we went to MegaCon, they were having a Dr. Horrible sing-along, which is kind of why we decided to add this one in. Um, I didn't get to go because we were stuck at our table, but uh, I was like, man, Dr. Horrible is amazing. So, Dr. Horrible, which is called The Weird Stuff, which is from a song in there where they talk about Captain Hammer and um, what, it's, everything it's his he fan, is. It's his fan club his, singing about Captain Hammer. Uh -huh, about about the weird stuff. We aren't going to go into that line for you. You're going to have to watch it and see if you can find it. Comment below if you know what the weird stuff 
is referring to. All right, let's talk about our Creator set for uh, this month. It was created by Joanne, a bad kitty, uh, here on YouTube and Facebook, and it is based on uh, a little show that like no one watches called Game of Thrones. Like it's so obscure. I don't even know if you all are gonna know what I'm talking about. There's this character named Tyrion Lannister, and like he is like hardly ever in the show, like at all. Like you never see him. He's very obscure. No one likes him. It's just like whatever. Okay, so I don't know why she even. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Sarcasm. I, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just minding my own business sniffing stuff. Okay, so <laughs> this scent is called A Mind Needs Books, and uh, which is something that Tyrion says. At the beginning of the series, he is very, like, womanizing, because, you know, he's he's a dwarf. So, not, right? Dwarf? Little person? Little. Well, they call him a dwarf he in there. They call him a dwarf in the thing. But, but you know, they're, they're, really they're not exactly PC in, no, in Game of Thrones. No. So, uh, he is a little person. So, uh, he basically gets treated like a freak so all he does is what he wants to do which is have sex with women read and drink mm -hmm. you know so of course it comes to the line i drink and i know things mm -hmm. he also says a mind needs books so he's he's actually very smart this scent is wine cherries and chocolate cake which it it basically smells like a chocolate cherry cake right and wine you notice I haven't stopped smelling this thing the entire time. There is a slight alcohol liqueur smell in the background, but really it's like chocolatey. When we were first uh, pouring a lot of this, I was smelling the chocolate as kind of a powdery smell, but now that it's had a chance to age up, that chocolate smells a lot richer, a lot more cohesive, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's blended. Like, once it's aged properly, this is, this is good stuff. It, if you see right here, it, the current artwork is actually the only artwork available for it for this month. So you can get it in a digital download or, you know, you can get it on your bottle or your product. It is not available in a sugar scrub. As you saw, everything else was available in a spray wax and scrub. This is not available in a sugar scrub because it has cinnamon. However, I will put the new label right up here. Which you can see it will change out with the cosplayable. Mm -hmm. I think it's Waldo um, dressed as Tyrion in here. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the artwork for both this and that. Well, what she was looking for uh, was this kind of like what his life would be. Living in a castle all day long. Not really going out too much. Like he's an indoor kind of person. Um, and you got wine and you got books. And when you look at the full version of the artwork, you're going to see the Lannister banners. There's a, a lot of lighting effects going on in here. You can see the rest of the city's scape out there. Um, it is based off of an actual view out of one of the windows in the castle. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I like uh, it. I realize I didn't put any titles on these books, but that's okay because I'm pretty certain that they don't actually read English in, mm. in Game of Thrones world. I don't no, know. No, they, yeah. I think they have their own language. Yeah, probably. Our next scent is actually a surprise scent. So we were at Comic Con, MegaCon, and we were like, you know, we don't have any, any scent based off this one, and it's like one of my favorite Marvel characters. Um, we should have a scent. So we made one. It's called Best Gal, and it's Agent Carter, which was one of my fav favorite, favorite, uh, like, heroines in the Captain America series, and she had her own TV show, and whatnot, so obviously it's just like her. It is blueberries, cotton, and cake, and there's a reason for that. So, we found that there is certain synergies that go along with some of our scents. Um, one of them that we did just actually construct is the best gal with the little guy. Uh, both of them have a blueberry and cheesecake factor into mm -hmm. them. So if you put the two of them together, they actually smell better than by themselves. Um, another set of these synergies that we found uh, was with So Fresh and So Green Green and So Fetch. So that Good synergy name. is So Fetch and So Green People Green. People at the con were actually buying both of them. We're like, is there something here where they're like, it smells good together? And we smelled them both together. We were like, oh, this actually does smell good together. So, but yeah. And also, if you notice, this, this scent is legitimately just little guy with cotton. And <laughs> that's basically Instead what it is. Instead of cherry. Instead of the cherry part of it. Um, because, you know, she's clean, fresh, cotton. Mm -hmm. I feel like that kind of goes with her. What is the design like? The, the design that you see here is Ravenna. 
dressed as Agent Carter, um, and she is holding on to his shield, which she would have probably gotten her hands on at some point. I don't Actually, no, the, the, the shield was stuck with him in the ice. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the background is our new Marvel artwork, mm -hmm. and this is, this is kind of going into how we're going backwards. Um, whenever we're going to be doing certain um, re-releases for the artwork, you're going to see new backgrounds. And so Marvel has this red and white metallic trellis mm -hmm. background. Um, by the way, speaking of synergies from before, we have one other synergy that's brand new, um, and that is the weird stuff with the rich stuff. We've, yes. t we've smelled those two together, and we don't know how it's the, the names just also seem to work together. I don't yeah. know how that works. I don't know. <laughs> uh, one thing I did want to mention about Bescal is not available in wax. Um, it's pretty much the only scent this month that is not available in wax. It's only scrub and spray. Uh, so lastly, oh, well, not lastly, but um, I do want to talk about this because we did not talk about it this last time. The new label for Life Finds a Way. A lot of people were wondering about that. The last one had the dinosaur on it. So this is the new label for Life Finds a Way with the Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Ian Malcolm cosplay yes. for Hershey. So yeah, he's wearing the leathers. He's got the glasses. Yeah, so that is now available with the new label. Um, as long as we don't have old ones in stock, you get the new label on there. Mm. Let's talk about the wax that is available. Obviously, almost everything this month is available in wax, which is cool. Plus, we have the two that were voted on in the group, which if you go join our group, you can also join right, or you can also vote. And right now, it's a write-in vote. So you basically write in any scent that you have ever wanted in wax, and whatever gets the most votes will win. If we have a lot of ties. I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll probably pick one randomly. But anyway, so this month we have Time After Time and Welcome to Jupiter. Notice these are the old labels, uh, so get them now if you want the old labels or if you want it in wax form because who knows when either one of those are going to be available again. So Time After Time um, is of course Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, Green Apple, Strawberry, and Peach. This is an amazing summer scent, you guys. Like, it is so good. And fresh and fruity. I love this one. And then Welcome to Jupiter is Funnel Cake and Cotton Candy. It's based on American Horror Story, the one with the funky clown. Um, it's very good for when you're staging a house. Yes, it is. It smells like baked goods. Yes, it is. Mm. All right, that is what we have currently for this month. I also want to bring up our highlight deals where everything on the site is discounted. Um, if you go to our main page, it says highlight deals on the side. You can click on that and it will take you to where everything that is discounted. Everything here is discounted for this month only. Also, the Gilmore Girls collection, the Stranger Things collection, Expendable, and uh, Dude Wears the Pie is also highlighted and discounted this month. So you can find all of those on the site as well um, if you are looking for something cheaper. <laughs> um, the Stranger Things collection is like one of my favorites. In fact, we've been thinking yeah. about maybe adding to it since the third season is coming out next month. We just watched the second season again. Mm -hmm. Such a good show. Like, I always forget how good of a show it really is. It's so if you have any suggestions about additions, maybe from season two, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, maybe a Mad Max scent. Maybe, or even like a below. Dustin. I, I mean, we haven't done a Dustin one, and I feel like he he needs his own scent, maybe. <laughs> Dustin, Dart. Dustin with Dart, and maybe mm -hmm. Mad Max. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have an Eleven, a Barb. We have one for Will, and then one for, um, what is her name? Barb? No, Will's mom. Oh, Will's mom. Uh, yeah, Joyce. 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 Yes. Yeah. We really need a hopper scent. I don't know. Tell me your favorite ones down below. Yeah. Talk down below with Exactly. Us. So that is all of our stuff. Uh, please let us know what you think of these scents. Next month is Disney. Finally, we're going to have a Disney. Um, so yes, I'm excited for Disney. I think we have scents that are going to be based on Alice in Wonderland. That was one that was uh, requested a lot. Lion King, because the movie is coming out this year. Uh, also Tangled and Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. This set is going to be called Find Yourself. Yes. <laughs> That's so deep. <laughs> I don't know if you guys on the camera can do that, but I said Find Yourself, and then Zeno is, is on the other side of the door and goes, No! <laughs> Cute kitty. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>